Hello, welcome to my channel. I received some requests to speak about respiratory diseases. So here we are. In this video, I'm going to talk about airway diagnostics, in particular about the bronchoalveolar lavage or BAL and the tracheal wash or TW. These two are the most common techniques used to obtain respiratory secretions and it is important to understand the indications for each test. The main indication to perform a TW is diagnosis of localized infectious diseases of the lower respiratory tract, such as bronchopneumonia, pleuropneumonia or lung abscess. Collection of BAL is most useful for diffuse lung diseases such as equine asthma, exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage, and certain more rare infectious diseases such as equine herpes virus 5. But do you know why? When there is a common infectious disease of the lower airways such as a bacterial pneumonia, it is often focal or multifocal and affected areas are often adjacent to unaffected areas. However, all the secretions from both lungs will collect in the trachea. So in these cases, cytological analysis and microbiological culture of a tracheal wash is more likely to help with the diagnostic. In contrast, fluid collected from a BAL is only representative of the lung region distal to the bronchus where the tube or the endoscope arrive. For this reason, it is possible to obtain BAL samples with normal cytological findings in horses with pulmonary infections. In cases of diffuse lung disease such as equine asthma, BAL cytologic results correlate well with the lung inflammation. In cases in which we are not sure if we have a focal or a diffuse, an infectious or a non-infectious disease, it is best to perform both tests but performing first the tracheal wash and after the BAL. And the reason is due to the way the two tests are performed and we will see these two procedures in dedicated videos. Now instead we are going to see what is normal to find on cytologic examination of a BAL and a TW. Bronchoalveolar fluid consists of a mixture of pulmonary macrophages and lymphocytes. The total nucleated cell count should be less than 530 cells per microliter with less than 5% of neutrophils, less than 2% of mast cells and less than 1% of eosinophils. Increased percentages of these inflammatory cells have been associated with poor performance and mild, moderate or severe asthma. Normal TW fluid should contain mucus and some respiratory epithelial cells. Compared with the BIL, the number of macrophages is more variable, while it is normal to find more neutrophils and less lymphocytes. Eosinophils should still be practically absent. There is a poor correlation between TW and BIL neutrophilia. So, an increased percentage of neutrophils in a TW cannot support a diagnosis of asthma. Ok, thanks for watching this video. In the next videos we are going to see how to perform these two diagnostic procedures. Ah, in the description of this video you can find some references where you can read more about BAL and TW.